Hello everybody, let's talk about cleavage and upper pole fullness. Two things pretty much every woman looking for breast augmentation and or breast lift is looking for. And the wish picks that they sent to us and clarifying what I can and cannot achieve with cosmetic surgery. I understand a lot of the pictures you see online, uh, post, photoshopped, retouched, filtered, there are certain things that cosmetic surgery simply cannot achieve alone. Again, cleavage and upper pole fullness, or the fullness roundness you see on top, that gives you that push up bra look. That is what I'm talking about. That is a fight against gravity. That is something that we cannot win along with just plastic surgery. First, quick little disclaimer. These pictures are not of a patient of mine. I did not open on this person. I don't even know if she's ever had surgery. Her pictures were sent to me as wish pictures by someone. Um, her pictures are freely available online. Uh, they're wide open for everybody to see. So I'm using these pictures to demonstrate this point. Uh, this is in no way to say her breast augmentation or her breasts are bad, good example of good or bad. This is simply to illustrate the points I'm trying to make here when trying to talk to my patients and try to educate them on what is and what is not possible in terms of achieving their goals. This was the image that was sent to me with a question, can I create something like this? Now, as a plastic surgeon, when I look at an image like this, I probably see something different than you as just a lay person. So it is really, really important for patients when they send us pictures is to really analyze the images that they send us and try to figure out what is it that they like. What is it they like about the images that they like? What is it they don't like about the ones that they don't? And that helps us to better understand what it is that we want to create for them. It also helps them understand what it is that they want. Because when I look at a picture like this, what I see is very tight cleavage right there. Breasts are almost touching. I'm seeing a very round look. And I'm seeing a lot of upper pole fullness. The breast outline goes there it's clearly going over there so this is a very round looking breast and it is sitting high up it is sitting at the level of her axillary fold right there so that's pretty high this distance between her clavicle and the breast is pretty short and this is something that a lot of women want so again this is an image that i would often get people want to get the cleavage that's very small the short distance between the clavicle and the upper pole fullness, they want to have the volume up there. The problem with this is, this defies gravity. Why is that? Because with gravity, implants will fall down and out. Why do they fall apart? Why is the having cleavage such a challenge? Because your chest is not a flat plate. Your breasts are not sitting on a flat plate. Your breasts are sitting on a chest wall, which is round. Implants are sitting on a shaped surface and with gravity they will fall to the side we see this breast which are tight together they're pushed together they're sitting up high you can see the outline of the implant up this is the upper pole fullness we refer to it's the push-up bra look you can see the distance from the clavicle to the top of the breast it's pretty short and you can kind of see the outline of the breast up there so again this is flat upper chest and then it bumps up flat on the other side and then it takes off on the next picture to the right we have a similar thing her breasts are pushed together she's got a very tight cleavage this is the result of the bra that she's wearing her clavicle to breast is short again again flatness from the clavicle down to the breast and there's a bump where the implant goes lower left similar situation now you can see her right arm is elevated and this affects her breast because her right breast sits higher than the left so the position of the arms and the position of the body affects what the breast look like but again distance from the clavicle to the breast is pretty short you can see they're pushed together tight cleavage and you have flatness on the chest and then it hits the implants or her breasts if you look at that very right lower image this is somebody who is not wearing much support and you can see her breasts really are just naturally falling. They look very natural. They have fallen. They're smooth up here. You don't see a bump. It's a smooth teardrop natural look. 
Let's take away these last few images again. Breasts are sitting down here, approximately. There's your clavicle. Look at the distance from the clavicle to the top of the border of her breast. Much longer than over here. And this is smooth and smooth takeoff compared to chest wall and a bump. In this image, we again have a composite of supported and unsupported breasts. The image on top has support, and you can see the breasts are sitting higher per here. On the bottom, she's not wearing so much support. They have fallen, they look a little saggy, a little droopier, a little more natural. So to most people, this may not look that different. They may think, well, this is the same person, she's the same person, but they may, they may not realize that there's a difference between these two images. And when they come to my clinic, they're gonna show me this, as their wish picture. And when I look at them, I realize what I can do for them is this. And this is where there's a little bit of a disconnect between us because they want to see the tight cleavage you see here. They want to see the upper pole fullness. And what I'm trying to tell them is, no, what I can do for you is implants or breasts that fall apart somewhat and they'll be sitting down looking more natural. They don't look as fake as you see here. They're gonna look more natural as you can see on the bottom image. The upper image is a push-up bra look, the bottom image is the more natural look. So if somebody asks me and says, can you do this for me? The answer is yes, if you wear a bra, because if you don't wear a bra, you're gonna look more like this. Do you see what I'm talking about? This is the important part that I always try to get across to my patients, is look at the distance from the clavicle to the top of the breast, which in this case is at a level of axillary fold, and this is pretty short, versus here, her axillary fold is up there, her clavicle is up there. The upper breast goes to here. This breast goes to there. This is what is so important for people to understand. So when you, please, when you bring images like this, please understand that you will look like this only when you wear a bra that gives you good support because when you don't wear a bra, you are going to look like this. What I see in this image is implants sitting up high. So if you look at her from the side, there's a clavicle, there's a chest wall, there's the implant, and I see flatness and a bump. In this image, there's a clavicle, there's a chest wall, the implant is sitting lower, and there's flatness and a more gradual look to her breast as compared to a perky breast, a little more saggy breasts.